How was your exit structured? Yeah. So when we kind of went down the path of, you know, marketing our business, we ended up kind of getting under NDA with about 40 different potential buyers. And through those 40 NDAs, we sent out a deck that they were able to review about the business. And we said, anyone who wants to have a call with, you know, with me as, you know, the managing partner of the business, let us know. And so out of the 40 NDAs that were signed, Eight of those people were, ended up requesting calls with me where I walked them through the deck and had about an hour conversation. And all eight of those calls resulted in hard offers. Seven of the offers we got were from private equity, which kind of looked like a traditional private equity offer, which was a kind of a small bite of the apple up front with a big bite you know, down the road if we were able to kind of replicate the success we mm-hmm. had started in New Jersey and New York and take it across the country. There'd be a lot more success down the road in that end. But at the same time, We also knew that private equity was a very, you know, it was a little bit more of a cutthroat partnership when you talk about the way that those guys like to operate. And at the same time that we had seven offers from private equity, we had one offer from a strategic buyer, and that was Forefront Dermatology. And Mm -hmm. we looked at their offer, and it was extremely competitive on the numbers. And what we really asked ourselves was, who would we rather work for slash with? Do we want to work with a Mm -hmm. bunch of private equity guys who are really focused on the bottom line? which is not a bad thing. It's just, you know, it's something that Mm -hmm. they focus on. Or do we want to work with Forefront Dermatology that is founded by a dermatologist and is a network of 200 physician-owned practices across the country? And honestly, it was not a very hard decision for us. We knew Mm -hmm. right off the bat that our style and the lifestyle we were looking to kind of have for ourselves would be a lot more achievable by partnering with a group like Forefront that was going to be a lot more supportive had a lot more experience with growing businesses like ours. And at the end of the day, knowing that Shari as a doctor would likely stay there for a very long time, because again, why would she leave? I really wanted to set her up for long-term success. And for me, that was partnering her with 200 other dermatologists just like her that had started their practices and exited their practices and would serve as a great supportive network for her in the next phase of her journey. So I was really thinking a lot about what would we be best for her And then secondly, what would be best for me, but also knowing that I could, I thought I could kind of survive in either scenario, but I I really wanted to focus on what would set the practice up for success and what would set her up for kind of, you know, a good high quality life, you know, knowing where we are in our lives. 